Welcome back you guys. Just yesterday the Overwatch 2 beta started, and ever since the announcement of the alpha, I've been wondering how a computer with the minimum specs runs the game. Overwatch 1 was relatively easy to run, so I've been curious with the visual upgrades and new additions in Overwatch 2 what performance would be like. The listed minimum specs on the beta announcement page include the following. For the operating system, Windows 7, 8, or 10. For the processor, an Intel Core i3 or an AMD Phenom X3 8650. For the GPU, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 600 series or an AMD Radeon HD 7000 series. For the memory, 60GB of RAM, and then for the storage, 50GB available. Interestingly, Blizzard's website lists these specs for targeting 30fps, but no settings or resolution are mentioned. This computer that I have here for testing has an Intel Core i3 2100, a GTX 660 Ti, and 6GB of RAM, all running on Windows 10. This i3 is a bit old, but they didn't mention what generation of processor was required, so this should be an interesting test. Starting the benchmarks out with 1080p low settings, I saw an average that sat in the mid to high 60s, with 1% low sitting in the 20s for the most part. There were some instances where frames dipped well below that, and I definitely felt it. I think the main bottleneck of this system is probably the CPU. The CPU utilization spiked to 100% fairly often, while it seemed the GPU had a little more headroom to spare. This wasn't the most smooth experience, but it was better than the 30 FPS target stated on Blizzard's website. Bumping up the settings to medium, at 1080p the average and 1% lows were pretty similar to the low settings. The average sat at 60 FPS by the end of each game, and the 1% lows sat in the 20s. Without actually looking at the numbers, it would be really difficult for me to distinguish the difference between low and medium settings, if I'm being honest. Just like the low settings, it's not super smooth, but it's definitely playable if this is the type of PC that you have to work with. Testing out 1080p on high settings, the average FPS dropped down to the mid 50s with 1% lows once again sitting in the 20s. With the 1% lows being on par with the other settings, it didn't feel much worse than the low or medium settings to me. Visually, I didn't notice a big difference either. I want to note that throughout testing the game, it crashed about four to five times. I never really figured out the reason for this, and I'm not sure if it's a hardware issue or an issue with the beta. I'll have to play with it a little bit more to get down to the bottom of that. Another big thing that you may have noticed was that there was a fair amount of screen tearing while playing on all the settings, which can really bother some people. I did test VSync out to see if this would help that and it did to some extent, but it also made the 1% lows drop even lower, and the game felt a lot less responsive to me. This is probably another area where I will need to do some more testing to find the best settings that I prefer. All in all, the game works with this hardware. It's not super smooth or amazing by any means, but for casual play, it'll get the job done. If you're wanting to play more competitively, I'm willing to bet that a few cheap upgrades like 8GB of RAM, swapping the CPU for something like a 4-core i5, and possibly getting a more modern GPU would give you a much better experience. Let me know how Overwatch 2 is running on your budget hardware, and if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll see what I can do to answer them. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya!